Hello children, my name is Priyanka and I am your mentor. Okay, now we start with the new chapter that is chapter 3, India, our country. Let's kick start. Complete the missing letters. The president of India lives here. What it is? You have to see what it is. R dash 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 T dash 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 A dash dash b dash 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 a dash so you know what it is where the president of india lives think think of it that is rashtrapati bhavan the next is this is also called the sansad bhavan it is located in new delhi that is that starts with p and end with e so think of it what it is Yes, that is Parliament House. Okay. India is a big country. It is the seventh largest country in the world. India is a very big country. It is the world mein seventh largest badi country. Hai. The total population of India is more than 125 crores. Okay. Only China has more population than our country. So if China hi is a country hai, jahan pe hum se bhi zyada population hai. India became an independent country on 15th August 1947. Hamari India independent hui thi 15th August 1947 mein. The government in our country is elected by the people of India. हमारी जो गवर्नमेंट है वो हम लोगों द्वारा ही बनाई जाती है देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन आवर कंट्री द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट एंड द सेकंड इज द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सी व्हाट यूनियन गवर्नमेंट इज द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट कंट्रोल्स द होल कंट्री ओके द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट जो होती है उसे सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट कहा जाता है क्यों क्योंकि वो पूरी एक कंट्री को होल्ड करती है पूरी एक कंट्री को कंट्रोल करती है ऑफिसेस द ऑफिसेस ऑफ द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट आर लोकेटेड इन न्यू दिल्ली द कैपिटल ऑफ आ कंट्री द यूनियन और द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज रन बाय द प्रेसिडेंट द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर द कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स एंड द ऑफिसर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट all of them live and work in new delhi because new delhi hamari india ki capital hai it is difficult for the central government to look after all the people hamari ek central government ke liye sab logo ko dekhna sare india ke logo ko dekhna thoda difficult hai okay thus to look after the needs and welfare of the people properly the country has been divided into states and union territories isi problem ki wajay se hamari jo government hai usko humne divide kar diya hai states and union territories mein see what union territories are there are nine union territories these are controlled by the union government delhi is also a union territory and is called the NCT National Capital Territory of Delhi the local governments in the union territories are guided by the union government the central and the state governments help each other in the progress and welfare of the people they look after the needs of the people now see the offices of the central government are located at the central secretariat okay the center the central and the state governments help each other in the progress and welfare of the people they look after the needs of the people and safety of the country the government passes law to run the country properly jo government hoti hai wo laws pass karti hai taki country acche tarike se chal pae okay or it also builds it builds school colleges hospitals parks 
roads, railways, canals, etc. for the benefit of the people in India. The land forms and climate of India vary from place to place. People eat many types of food, wear different types of clothes and speak different language. Still, all the people in our country form a big and united family. The list of Indian states, union territories and their capital cities is given below. See the states and their capital. First is Andhra Pradesh and its capital is Hyderabad. Second, Arunachal Pradesh. Its capital is Itanagar. Third one is Assam. Its capital is Dispur. Fourth one is Bihar. Its capital is Patna. Fifth one is Chhattisgarh and its capital is Raipur. Sixth one is Goa and its capital is Panaji. The seventh one is Gujarat and its capital is Gandhinagar. Okay, the eighth is Haryana and its capital is Chandigarh. Ninth, Himachal Pradesh, its capital Shimla. Tenth, Jharkhand, its capital Ranchi. Eleventh, Karnataka, its capital Bangalore. Twelfth, Kerala, its capital Tiruvananthapuram. Thirteenth, Madhya Pradesh, its capital Bhopal. Fourteenth, Maharashtra, its capital Mumbai. 15th Manipur, its capital Imphal. 16th Meghale, its capital Shillong. 17th Mizoram and its capital Azwal. 18th Nagaland and its capital is Kohima. 19th Orissa and capital is Bhuvneshwar. Now the 20th is Punjab and its capital is Chandigarh. 21 Rajasthan, its capital is Jaipur. 22. Sikkim, its capital Gangtok. Tamil Nadu and its capital is Chennai. 24th is Telangana and its capital is Hyderabad. 25th is Tripura and its capital is Agartala. 26th is Uttar Pradesh and its capital is Lucknow. 27th is Uttarakhand and its capital is Dehradun. 28th is West Bengal and its capital is Kolkata. Now we are moving to the Union Territories and their capital. The first Union Territory is the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands and its capital is Port Player. Chandigarh is itself its capital. Okay, Chandigarh is the Union Territory and as well capital. The third one is Dadar and Nagar Haveli and its capital is Silvasa. Fourth one is Daman and Diu and its capital is Daman. Fifth one is Delhi. Delhi is also the Union Territory okay, and its capital also. The sixth one is Lakshwadeep and its capital is Kavarati. Seventh is Puducherry and its capital is Puducherry. Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh are the newly created Union Territories of India. They were created on 5th August 2019. Now see the political map of India. Remember, largest state of India, Rajasthan. Smallest state of India, Goa. Largest Union Territory, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Smallest Union Territory, Lakshwadeep. The most populous state that is Uttar Pradesh. State with minimum population Sikkim. Now it's time for tets and bits. NCR National Capital Region of India is the area which comes under the entire National Capital Territory of Delhi. It includes New Delhi as well as surrounding areas in neighboring states of Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan. The National Capital Region Planning Board NCRPB has approved the inclusion of two districts of Haryana, Bhivani and Mahindargarh and one of the Rajasthan, Bharatpur in NCR. The State Government India is divided into 28 states and 9 union territories. 
each state has its own elected government the state government is elected by the people living in that state every state also has a capital city the state government is run by the governor the chief minister and the officers in the state all of them live and work in the capital of the state the union government also helps the government when needed now it's time to looking back india is the seventh largest and second populous country in the whole world the government in our country is directly elected by the people of india the central government controls the whole country and is located in the capital of india the state government controls the particular state only and is located in the capital of the state the union territories are under the control of the union government rajasthan is the largest state and goa is the smallest state in areas in india now it's time to say goodbye thank you children and we meet in the next chapter